Hello YouTube, what I'm going to be showing you right now is how to, um, up, kind of like downgrade from a custom ROM to your stock ROM. Uh, I am currently running the Street Dirt 1.9.0 and this works for the 2.0 as well. Um, I'm going to be downgrading and um, you can just download the downgrading files from your, I'm sorry my dog is going crazy. I don't know if you can hear uh, from Dell Streak, or you can download it from the link on the bottom from the XDA form, a uh, developer's form. So once you have all that downloaded, and then I'm going to show you exactly what it is to do, what it is to do, what it is you need to do. Um, you will need to follow the steps for the <clears throat> kind of like flashing the DSP one and stuff like that. So you will need to get. <clears throat> have the multi recovery um, file which I'll show you right now. I'll also have a link on the bottom for you guys for that. Now as you can see I'm going into my C drive and this is a file that you need the multi recovery flasher. Let me just go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in. Uh, the multi recovery flasher. Now what you do with that one is you go ahead and extract it on <clears throat> to a separate file here in your C drive and rename it streak as I did in the bottom here. Now once you're there just go ahead and open it up and um, go to your wherever you downloaded your files. I have it under downloads. I haven't moved it at all so I'll just go to my downloads and as you can see right here I have my recovery and my streak um, file that I downloaded which I'm gonna rename to update <clears throat> and um, just have it updated there now you will need to rem to move those files onto the folder itself um, I kinda like already have one here so Um, I do need to uh, move over my updated package as well. I only do that for, I guess, security reasons kind of thing. Now you're going to go to your your phone and um, connect it onto your computer. And you will be um, copying the update file onto I'm sorry, I have such a mess here. You will be copying the update file onto your SD card. So I don't even know why I'm clicking on. Oh. And turn it on. Go ahead and open your your folder. I'll just zoom out a little bit. So you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And you will um, copy it, just right click on it, copy, and bring it over to <clears throat> your device and just right click on the removable disk thingy and just click paste. <clears throat> Keep uh, copy and replace this to make sure. And you just wait for it to. The reason mine keeps coming up that I already have it was because. Um, my original ROM is a 2.2 and I'm trying to, uh, what I'm doing right now is basically showing you how to recover it back and for me, myself, I'm actually kind of like upgrading from the 2.2 to the 2.2.2 because <coughs> of the stage widgets. So, um, but you follow the same steps, it doesn't matter. Like, if you guys want your custom ROM, you just go ahead and download your custom ROM. Now, um, you will need to do the um, access your fast food, so um, you do need to do that through the command um, command prompt. So that's why you extracted um, the multi flash recovery thingy onto your C drive um, because you will be accessing your C drive, your <coughs> the CD drive through CD drive. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, wait.
once that's done, um, I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. You will need to go under fast boot mode. <clears throat> Normally, I go through fast boot mode by um, removing my battery because it is kind of faster that way. And just wait a couple seconds. Let me go ahead and uh, place your battery. And you will go into fast boot by, by pressing down the camera and the power on button at the same time until you get a white flash screen such as that now you go into this screen and you will press fast boot and you're gonna wait 10 seconds to connect it make sure you're not connected press fast boot and it says waiting for USB fast boot detect wait 10 seconds and go ahead and connect your device and as you can see it says fast boot mode so just go ahead and move your device to the side now you will open your command prompt I have it here already but for those of you who don't know where your command prompt is go to your accessories and you'll have command prompt right there now in order to access fast food, you will need to type in um, CD and space and then you're going to go ahead and do, we, we're actually accessing the strict file so you're going to go ahead and put um, C colon forward flash, make sure it's this one, not backlash, make sure it's this one on top of the enter button, like that, and you're going to type in streak enter as you can see you already entered the streak folder now you're going to enter fast food then you'll have tons of commands like this let me just go ahead and zoom in so you can watch kind of like the typing and thingy I don't know why my camera I have it straight but it always records kind of like slanted okay now here you're going to go ahead and type in fast food space out negative minus dash i space 0x413 c in space and do flash then you're going to space recovery space it out recovery dot image and you're just going to go ahead and click enter as you can see it's send recovering writing and it totally wrote down the stock recovery <clears throat> now um, once you have your recovery um, image booted onto your phone you're going to go ahead and go into you're going to reboot it but you have to make sure you have it ready on your phone because you will need to press the volume and up down button thingy okay so make sure you have your two fingers there and just get ready sorry about my nails I tend to shoe my um, peel my own nail polish off so then um, you will need to reboot so those of you who don't know how to reboot you're going to type in <clears throat> same thing fast boot space out dash i space 0x143 c and then you're just going to put uh, reboot so I'm going to get ready and type in reboot and then I'm going to click enter and it is rebooting right now once the screen closes down and goes into black press down both buttons leave them holding down until you get to this screen from here that's where you're going to do um, update by um, via update package And as you can see, it's kind of like doing the, <clears throat> the updating its own package kind of thing. And it will go ahead and run, and you will be back to your stock ROM. Um, that's all you need to do. It will go up, and you'll be back to stock ROM. So that's how you recover your your Dell Street back to your, cus um, not custom, but to your stock ROM from a custom ROM. I don't know if I'm making sense anyway. Uh, that's it. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.